Hail Caesar. So Hail Caesar basically is um, a basically about a film studio in the 1950s called Capital Pictures, and it's run by Eddie Mannix, played by Josh Brolin, who has to deal with a host of production issues in the space of about like 30 hours. And the biggest issue of the whole thing that happens is when his main star actor, Bird Whitlock, played by George Clooney, is kidnapped. And so the studio have to cough up about $100,000 in ransom for his release. And then there's also a disgruntled film director, Lawrence Lawrence, played by the brilliant Ralph Fiennes. He's struggling with an actor that Eddie Mannix has cast for him in his current production. Uh, here's a clip. It seems Allegra's a no-show, which is simply a bore. But I'll partner you in bridge. Ha! Oh, would that it were so simple. Cut. 27 apples, take two. All right, all right, let's try this. Your line, just say it as I say it. Say your line exactly as I'm mm -hmm. about to. Okay, sure. Would that it were so simple. Would that it were so simple. Would that it were so simple. W would that it was. Wait, wait, watch my mouth. Would that it were so simple. 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 My dear boy, why do you say that? Why do you say twer? Well, you said say it like I said. Yes, but. Would that it were so simple. No, no, you seem to be lingering. It's interminable, the were. I'm wondering when it'll end. Then we shouldn't be wondering, should we? We should be marching right along to so simple. Would that it were so simple, trippingly. Would that it were so simple, trippingly. No, don't say trippingly. Say the line trippingly. But I mean, you can tell from that clip, it's just, it definitely is funny. It has some absolutely hilarious moments in it. And, um, but the, it's just basically a bunch of subplots and set pieces that are absolutely brilliant and entertaining and funny. But then as a whole film, it pretty much just falls apart because it's just so disjointed. Yeah. The whole script in one just didn't make complete sense because it's just so much stuff going on and things kind of start happening and then spiral off. Something else then comes up yeah. and then spirals off and then something else pops off and then spirals off and nothing really kind of comes to a final conclusion. So it's but pretty then, much like heroes in a film. <laughs> In With all film. their storylines yeah. that they didn't conclude ever. <laughs> but it, it must be said that definitely all the moments that they have in them are just absolutely brilliant and comedic and definitely a fine piece um, from the Coen brothers. Yeah. But I mean, it's one of those. It really is one of those that's kind of hit and miss. You either just take it for what it, what it is, enjoying the moments that it delivers brilliantly and think it's an absolutely brilliant film, or you try and watch it as a whole and think, actually, it doesn't make sense. No. It's kind of, what is the general point of the film? There kind of isn't one. But if you're really looking at it as a film with a story that has a middle, a beginning, middle and end, the general arc that we as an audience like to enjoy, there just simply isn't one. So my verdict out of 10, six. Definitely go and see it if you're a Cohen fan. It's complicated.